Hello Bitwig Pushers, long time no see and a lot of stuff has happened in the last time with new Bitwig releases, 1.2 is out and already 1.3 is on the horizon, which brought a lot of new features, namely the groups and browser and these features are now also accessible in scripts and here now we're looking at the latest release version of the push for Bitwig script. I loaded a project here which has several groups. I grouped here my drums, I grouped the bass, synths and so on. And what you notice when you look at the push you see only the groups. So you have hierarchical navigation here with the push controller. For example if I want to see my drums then I use the in and out buttons, so the same as you do for navigating layers in your devices, you do now the same for groups. So I press that one button to go into the drum uh, group and I see now the two tracks of the drums. And to leave the group again I use the other button and I go up. Same is for the bass group, I want to see my bass tracks go inside, see my four bass tracks, can navigate them as usual and go out again. And if I use the left and right buttons I only also navigate the level at which I am. So enter that again and move now into these four tracks and leave it again. The second main new feature in the script is now the browser. You need to have a device selected. So we have now the drum machine selected and if we go into the browse mode, the browser opens up. And the browser basically uh, works as before. You have the presets on the left, so if you touch it you see all the presets and you can scroll through the presets. With the other knobs you can filter by certain criteria, so basically the same you have in a browser. For example, you can filter by creators, tags, devices and so on. For example, we want only to have uh, digital drums, then we can choose that one and select our digital drum here. You can also use uh, the, the, the knobs below there to, to go through uh, to the column, so two buttons are always for, for one uh, column here. So you can go down or go up for the selection. Also same for presets, you can use both these and these to go up and go down. So much for the browser, there are also a lot of other new features here. For example, you can now toggle on and off the, the, the punch in and punch out uh, knobs. This is done by keeping the select key pressed and pressing the play key which turns it on or off the punch in. And if you want to have the punch out, it's shift select and play to turn this feature on and off. If you go into the fuse now by pressing note, I reordered it a bit to make more sense now with all the new features here. So we have play, piano, the piano fuse, the sequences, the drum at last. And there's now also a new feature here called program change. So if you go into that one, there's a lot of green here and you can send program changes to your plugin. So this one sends a program change, uh, number 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. And if you press that button you can get to the other uh, missing 64 numbers. So this is then to 65 going up to 128. So you need a plugin which supports receiving of program changes but then it's a pretty nifty feature to have. Let's go to the session mode. What now also works in session mode is that you can use the delete key, keep it pressed to delete a clip. So keep the delete key pressed, touch on a clip and the clip is, is deleted then. 
There's also a new feature for the ribbon control. So if you keep the shift key pressed and touch a ribbon, you get the configuration menu for the ribbon. And you have a new uh, option there is called fader. So if you touch that, uh, the ribbon control acts as a fader for the currently selected track. So I can change the level for this track. And also it works now the other way around. If you change the volume, it changes always here at the fader. And it works also as a VU view. So if you enable VUs by using shift and track to enable the views and you play something and then you will see the volume at the, at the fader with the little funny lights. There's also some new options in the preferences of the script. So if you open the preferences, go to the script, here we have the script and open the preferences section. Um, there is now a new option for food switch too. You have several functions you can now put on the food switch. So far it was only fixed to, to using it as the new button, but now you can also toggle play. So use it as a start and stop control. Um, you have record enabled. You can stop all clips, toggle clip over dub, undo tapping. The tempo is pretty handy as well. And this one works more like a clip based looper and not like the new button, which means it's pretty easy to overdub and it's explained as well in the wiki. So have a look in the wiki to get the description for that one. Another option here is um, the conversion of the poly aftertouch, which was available before, but, uh, but was broken and now it's working fine. So you can convert the aftertouch so if you play mode so if you keep it pressed and pressed then it sends poly aftertouch messages and you have the uh, option to use it as poly aftertouch uh, you can convert it into channel aftertouch or use it as a cc so you can use it as a modulation wheel for example or you can uh, even turn it off for example i got reports that uh, poly aftertouch is driving the excess virus hardware uh, synthesizer crazy so if you have problems like this you can even turn it off so these were all the news uh, with the new version of the push for Bitwig script and enjoy and create some funky music